Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video we're gonna take a look at the output configuration in Webpack and how we can start working with it. So right now what we see is that if I run npm run build, what we're gonna observe is that Webpack spits out a file called main.js inside our distribution directory, that is our dist folder. Now we do not have control on either what the name of the file is or where it is created. Right. So we obviously need to have that control. So how do we get that? We get it using the output configuration available here. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to say Webpack what file name we actually wanted. Like build.js could be the file name. And if I go ahead and build this bundle right here, what we're going to see is that we get a build.js named file instead of main.js now. So if I go ahead and remove like a distribution and star.js, and if I run this one more time, we're going to see that we get only build.js file right here with us, right? Which pretty much looks the same as the last time because the file name doesn't, does not really matter, right? So this is one way. Now it actually says that you have to reuse file name, but this essentially allows you to write full fledged directories as well. So let's say I want this output to happen in its own separate build folder. So what I could do is just create a build folder like this, because remember we are in the dist folder. So I go back a directory, create a build folder and then write a build.js file there. So now if I go ahead and just remove distribution JS files and run npm run build, what we're going to see is that Webpack creates a build folder now and it has build.js file. This is one way. Another way which I would prefer is actually using path. So right now here we are just guessing, we are assuming that we are in the dist folder and then, you know, some somewhere it just happens that uh, we are just getting into dist and we go back a directory and then we create a build folder. But that's not technically you should do, right? What you should do is you should make use of something known as a path. A path you have to specify here, right? And that is something we're going to take a look at in the next video. So that's all for this one. And I'll see you then in the next one.